Sunday, February 20th, 2022. Lots of twos going on. How are you? What's happening? What are you doing? What are you eating? What are you drinking? I, I love you too. Oh, thank you. That is so sweet. Who called? Somebody called. Oh, sorry, Mitch. Mitch calls me at 1110. Hey, you want to talk for a minute? Hmm. Can't really do that right now, but I'll call you later. But I do need a little hair and makeup action. Hold on. I watch these TikTok videos of these young girls that put, they, you know, they're like, they just start putting makeup on. And I'm like, what are you doing? Me? I'm just going to comb my hair. I got my jams on. I got my peace jams on. Peace and love and light and all that's good. And groove, for sure. Peace, love, light, and groove. Anyway, I'm going to make this privacy thing go public. And there we are. And I'm going to do one more quick little thing right here. I'm done with that. And I do this and I go here and I go like that. And then I do this and you don't even know what I'm talking about, but it's just stuff that I do. I edit the post and then I say this and then I do that. And a J ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a quick, quick little action show today featuring AJ Martinez. Wow. Let's get this out a little bit. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. What's happening? Good morning. Hold on just one second here. Hey, Julie. Uh, good. good. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's going can you hear on? Me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Guess not. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Hold okay. on. Cool. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, but it says my internet is unstable and I just redid everything. We can make this a short show today anyway, because I'm I'm just nervous that it's gonna happen again. Okay. Okay. What's doing in the kitchen? Well, I was gonna do a lasagna today on the show, but since we have a limited amount of time, uh still gonna do it. Do <laughs> just it. Your... do it. What kind How of are you? How is everybody? Every uh, classic uh, meat lasagna. I've got I ground can't. beef, pork. Um, uh, I'm going to start the sofrito in a minute. Uh, I've got my tomatoes and peppers uh, air frying in the air roaster. Um, and yeah, good morning, Julie. Good morning, Kim. This is and my friend AJ, three that are aka Alex. AJ, Alex. What do you like, AJ or Alex? I prefer either one. It's fine. <laughs> okay. I picked up. I picked up the. I picked up the AJ when I worked at um, a uh, limousine company in San Diego. Uh, there was another Alex there on staff, and so I went by AJ. Um, and then uh, fast forward to working at the pot club, and. Um, there was an Alex there, and so I went back to AJ. Uh, and so a lot of people in the cannabis industry in the Bay Area know me as AJ. Darn it. You froze, my uh -oh. friend, but maybe not to other people. Uh oh. No. You froze, my friend, no. but maybe not. You're just freezing to me, I guess. Oh, man. Maybe. No. Well, I mean, I'm all pretty sure. It happens every once in a while, somehow, somewhere, and I'm not sure why. There's Mama Grace. Hi, Mama Grace, with the beautiful face. And you've frozen again. AJ, do you mind um, stepping off and coming back on? Please.
when you get this, please. Do you mind? Yeah, it's, I don't know. Hey, Julie Luce. I don't know how to tell him any other way. Sure, no. Do you mind stopping your video and starting again? Sure. Okay. It happens sometimes. Last night was such a wonderful show with Gary Lambert, you guys. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I hope you did as much as I did. Those of you that were there, it it was a, a quite a special show. And those of you that were not there, you can go back and check it out right here on Facebook. And you can also check it out on YouTube. Thank you, William D. Lindemann. Um, March 24th, going to be a big show. I'm just preparing you now. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be two years two years since we've been doing this show. Crazy, crazy cool in the best way. And a lot of people, I'm hoping anyone that's here right now, if you want to be on the show, let me know. And we're going to try this one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Alex or AJ Martinez. I didn't need to do that. All right, Julie. Sure has. Okay. Okay. Tell us about your T-shirt. My T-shirt is my family reunion shirt that was back in, I think, 2014. Uh, my mom was the second oldest of nine brothers and sisters, and my grandfather was the Nzunza. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, since, since that union, um, we've grown to thousands across uh, California and the country. I qualify as being across country, so bring it worldwide, baby. Hi, Dave Hall. Wow, Dave Hall, the sunset photographer. I love your work. Thank you. And I miss seeing you out in the world. But one of these days, yeah. we be down at the beach at the same time. So what are you working on right this very minute? Right now, I I am uh, uh, seasoning the ground meat. Bring this a little closer. You can witness the magic. It's if you can tilt it. Up. Oh, uh oh, where'd you go? That's meat. All right. Yeah. yeah. That's a combination of sweet beef and pork. Pop it up. So yeah. How was your week? Currently. What's been up to? Um, it was good. It was good. Um, I healed up from the. Uh, from the COVID pretty well. I was only uh, knocked down for uh, like maybe three or four days, maybe if, if that. Um, I am boosted and uh, vaccinated and I maybe took an IV. So I'll just go with it. Um, I took an IV uh, Sorry, uh, uh, antibody but infusion like uh, project. Just uh oh. Hey, Rob. Rob. Yeah, it's just it. Every once in a while, it just has just just does it. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I wish I could do that. Meat but... going. He's making lasagna. Do you use the real noodles, or do you use the kind that you don't have to do anything to? 
I use the 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 baking noodles, but the, they're ready to go, just because they're thinner and you have a bit more uh, room to work with. Uh, and yeah, you know, handling uh, boiled noodles and trying to do it that way is just a little bit more difficult. And for me, there's really not a difference. You know, um, I don't I don't see a difference. This bite is a bit different, but I don't know why they would have made it. My grandmother solved that problem of not having enough room. You know those big turkey roasting pans, black and white speckled ones? Uh huh. That's what she'd make those on in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I'm going to use a Pyrex pan. Um, it's pretty big, and I can go, I can go deep enough in it, you know. Good morning, Bye. Rob. Good morning, everybody. Again, Bob and Carol. Rob and Carol. So I got that going. I got, I got my um, my tomatoes and my red peppers roasting in the air fryer. So give it another little flavor dynamic by roasting them instead of boiling them. Oh, air fried oh. tomatoes and peppers. I think. Can, may I see your air fryer? Um. Yeah. Give me one second. Yeah. No. Take it That's the air fryer I'm using. That's a big one. Okay. So question, when you're using yes. that air fryer right there right now, do you have a pan below it to catch things or is it just going to the bottom of the? I do. Okay. I do. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of bacon frying in that thing. So um, yeah, there is a pan that we that use to kind of catch all. So you air fry the peppers. Um, air fry the peppers, uh, and then and air fry the tomatoes, and then I'm going to put them in the food processor uh, to process it down. Right now, I've got in the food processor my makings for sofrito, which is, um, <clears throat> let me bring it a little closer here. Nice. That's a uh, kit. Carrots, onion, uh, garlic, celery, and basil stems. And so that'll get that'll get ground up and be the base of the tomato sauce, be part of the base of the tomato sauce. Uh, I'm going to do a combination of uh, a fresh tomato sauce with the with the tomatoes and the peppers and uh, a large cat crushed. Do you, do you use any paste at all? I do. I have a couple cans of paste. And I, I think paste is important because it gives you even more of the tanginess of the tomatoes. It gives it more of a sweeter uh, flavor. And, uh, and I've also got my ricotta cheese. My ricotta. Your ricotta. Do you, do you have any special secret ingredients that you put in your sauce? Um, you know, I used to go crazy. I used to put like veggies and, 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 and like both, what? like different, like, veg, like vegetables, okay. uh, whole vegetables. Um, you know, I used to get real fancy and then, uh, I toned it down a bit. You know, I wanted to just go a more classic blend a classic flavor and so um i started uh i, I, I became i started watching a an italian cook from uh, australia his name is vincenzo and he's got a um uh, he's got a, 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 a facebook profile vincenzo's plate and uh you know i've kind of altered my cooking style based on 
what I saw in his recipes, just because they're all pretty much classic and very simple. Vincenzo's uh, plate. Oh, I see it. Vincenzo's Vincen plate. Vincenzo's plate. food father of yeah. Italian cooking. Yeah, you know, and a lot of his recipes are, like I said, are, are pretty basic, uh, seem pretty classic. Uh, you know, um, uh, 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 what I love about it is, is that, you know, I've learned uh, that Italians really stick to a more classic recipe and they don't really veer from it. Like he, um, he laughs when, when people add garlic to everything, Italian. And not everything takes garlic. Not everything should have garlic. It's but, true. You know. I agree 100%. And, uh, I love and garlic. I learned to do, oh, I love garlic too. I mean, it's in there. So, uh, but I love, um, I love the pastas that I've been learning, the sauces. Uh, I've been doing cacio y te, which is just basically um, uh, 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 pecorino cheese and, and pancetta or bacon and 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 um and pasta water and it creams up on its own i learned a uh, uh <laughs> no rich no garlic in my oatmeal sorry <laughs> um and then i also did a, uh, you can make no, savory oatmeal i make savory oatmeals all the time bleh i don't do oatmeal it's not it's not one of my favorites, so I shy away from it. Um, and you know, I mean, they make a they make a, a a burger, from what I understand, in Tennessee, called a slug burger. And a slug burger is part beef and part oats. So you know, it's that sounds I haven't like had one, hamburgers but. that they used to make at my elementary school. Everything yeah, right. Opening. To stretch it, to stretch it out a bit, you know, kind like of. Salisbury steak. There was oats in the Salisbury steak. You know, and uh, oh, and a and a cream a creamless Alfredo sauce, which which Alfredo is basically the recipe I follow is butter, Parmesan, and pasta water, and pasta. That's it. No, no creams, no, no roux, no flour, none of that stuff. So, uh, so yeah, no, you know, it's make, been fun. We don't really make roux. We don't. We, we didn't. We don't know roux. We know. We know cheese. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. With um, with this with this ricotta, I'm actually going to make a make a roux, make a bechamel sauce, mix the ricotta in, and then mix in some spinach to get more veggies into the pasta, into the, into the uh, lasagna, so. I like but, zucchini um, lasagna. Instead of using a noodle, zucchini I use lasagna. zucchini. I, I like to do white lasagnas. Screen, with, I think you're still rolling, so that's. I like to do white lasagnas and with chicken and stuff like that, but my favorite is, is the nice. reds, the, that's tomato, tomato-based lasagnas, so. Still happening. I'm just gonna sit here and sing, sing. Not really. La, 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 la. Am I still freezing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> but I think you're not freezing to everyone else, so just continue to roll with it. Okay. Okay. Uh, but doing this today, yesterday I did a lechon which is a uh, crispy skin pork belly. Uh, and that takes a lot of uh, time to prepare. You have to poke the skin and boil it, then dry it out and let the, let the skin dry. And, and it's a lot of effort to come up with something. It was delicious, but it was still a lot of effort. But that, yeah, that was, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. What do you, what do you serve it? Uh, last any, night we served it with you get any with rice, with just with just some white rice, uh, and uh, I kind of uh, made a bit of a pagao with it. Where normally I let it kind of try and let it crust up on the bottom, but if it's done in the rice yeah, cooker, it doesn't really 
crust up on the bottom, uh, but I um, uh, I go ahead and fry it a little bit so I get a little bit more crunchy. Uh, but I, um, uh, I go ahead and fry it a little bit so I get a little bit more You're back. So you're not. You're you're fine to everyone else, but for some, but my internet connection must be wonky again. Just happens on certain mornings, I think. Right? Didn't we have to do a remote from your phone last week? <laughs> yeah, it it, and it 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 only happens with you, and it happens with my friend Michael, and no other time. I see how. I see how. It's What's I'm that about, Rich? Me. Maybe Rich knows what that could be. I don't know. So you'll be serving lasagna today. About what time will you be eating? Um. Well, I'm getting it ready now. Um. So. It'll be later today, like dinner time. Um, but um, I'm kind of. What about the always... cheese? How many cheeses are you using? I'm going to be using mostly mozzarella, um, and then um, I have a little bit of Colby Jack, a little bit of cheddar. But I find the cheddars and and the yellow cheeses they get a little grainy when they get when they melt. So they're not a really good melty kind of cheese, and so. Not a lot of that. Um, I'm going to use uh, Parmesan. Um, I think I'll add the Parmesan, the grated Parmesan, to the um, to the bechamel sauce, to the to the ricotta bechamel. And that'll be a way to get the get the get the get the Parmesan in there. So I like to put it. Then, um, my Nana taught me to put it in my sauce. To put it in the sauce. Yeah. Put it in the sauce. In the sauce. So what have you been watching? Anything groovy? Uh, what have I been watching? Um, Euphoria. Jim, my one. Uh, it's, an, it's an HBO show, uh, young adults uh, battling uh, uh, addiction and substance abuse. Uh, it's a pretty good, heart-wrenching, but very, very good. And then... Um, Righteous Gemstones, I believe, is wrapping up tonight, the finale. I've watched, so I'm looking I've forward watched a to couple that. of those. That's one of those shows where you go, I really shouldn't be watching this, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's entertaining. I mean, John Goodman, Danny McBride, Adam yeah, Levine. Right? Uh, the sister, though, is probably the one person that stands out to me because she is just has no filter. The character has no filter She's whatsoever. Great. She's great. Yeah. Rob, have you They're started all... watching that at all? I still am going to watch my science They're... fiction tonight. Ah, that's right. We have a science fiction assignment, don't we, for Monday night? Remind me again what movies we should be watching. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'll have to look for the photo. Hook up. Right. Um, hold on. Let me get... I got to go through my... 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 Stuff. Give me a can't find it, can't find it. No, I can't find it, can't find it. Almost there. Okay. okay. Old guard. So, so from now on, after, okay. today, after today, we're just going to do one movie a week to choose from. Okay. And this coming up, like Rich is picking it, and it's um, it's a it's a movie with with the title Pig. In it that has to have cake. Old Guard, Mars Attacks, Dune, I Am Legend, Matrix Resurrection, Mandalorian, Avatar, Midnight Sky, Station Eleven, and Age of Adeline. Play to me. Okay. Um, you know, I did seen watch most of them. I, I have seen a lot of those. Uh but I did watch a movie this morning, an older movie. It had a cake in it. Um, it wasn't like the focal point of the movie, but it was a movie called uh, Mad Dog and Glory. Oh, yeah. It was an older movie with uh, Robert De Niro and Uma Thurman and Bill Murray. 
Um, and it was really good. It was probably one of the few movies I've seen involving Bill Murray where there's a fight scene involved with him and he's actually fighting. But it was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. You know, I'd seen it. I had seen it before, uh, but to rewatch it again and just, you know, see the uh, see the reversal of roles. Normally, you see De Niro playing a more mobster character, and this time in this role, he plays kind of a more meager, passive uh, police officer. And Bill Murray, Bill Murray plays the gangster in this movie, and so um, it's very interesting. It was very good. I enjoyed it again. Um, another older movie I saw this past week was uh, Let It Ride with uh, Richard Dreyfuss and and um, the guy Johansson that was uh, uh, part of the New York Dolls. Who else was in that movie? Oh. Uh, a couple other people in that movie, but it was it was about uh, Richard Dreyfuss is kind of a down on, down on his luck gambling. Uh, Terry Gard was in it, played his wife. Uh, it was not down on his luck. He was a gambler, and then he has a streak of good luck one day where he can't lose, and it's just antics throughout that. It's really funny. I I really love. Probably one of my favorite movies is uh, Let It Ride. Let It Ride. Let It Ride. Tomorrow night we'll talk. We'll discuss one of the science fiction. Well, I mean everybody will discuss what they did, but yeah, after that, Rich, you better get that cake movie together. I have cake balls. How's, <laughs> how's it all cooking? What's what's the na- what's the next move? The next move is to grind the sofrito and get the tomato sauce going. Uh, I'm gonna make it in the same pot that I'm browning the meat, so I can get the 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 meat uh, essence of the beef in there uh, into the sauce itself. Um, but uh, after I get done browning the meat, then the sofrito is going to get ground and put in there. My peppers and tomatoes are done. Um, so I'll bring those over here right now and show you those. Looking good. We are coast to coast, everyone. And we're actually tri coastal. Very nice. So there's the tomatoes and the, in the, in the pepper. Are you going to put those so in the food I- or chop them up? <clears throat> I'm going to put them in the food processor. Uh, I wish I had a vegetable mill that's a lot more gentle right. in, in the grinding aspect. But it's just going to be a couple pulses just to get it to a good consistency. And then it'll get added to the sauce. That's going to be good sauce. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward. To, I was going to do a spaghetti, but then uh, I remembered that I made a promise to to, to make lasagna. So that's what I'm going to do. And everyone else is feeling well there at the house? Um, yeah, for the most part, uh, 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 Joy's mom and myself, who were uh, vaccinated and boosted, uh, probably felt the lesser effects of the, uh, of the COVID. Um, which, is, which is what Joy, is Right, right. And Joy, her boyfriend, unfortunately, Joy was... Uh, took the shot, uh, uh, took the vaccine last summer. So she's been six months plus without it. And her boyfriend is just not, uh, uh, yeah, not believe, doesn't, doesn't believe in the vaccines. Uh, he's He was actually testing negative uh, the entire time that everybody else was sick. And then this past week, he tested positive. And so he's been down and they've been suffering. Joy is still kind of running a fever. So I think they're both probably going to suffer the long COVID kind of situation because they're still kind of, kind of, you know, kind of feeling poorly. So she is vaccinated, but she wasn't boosted? No, she took the uh, J&J, which is the one shot. Um, yeah, but then you still and, think uh, you get boosted with the J&J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just hasn't. She just hasn't. So um, she is she she is sensible, but but you know. Uh, I guess they have time know. to be sick. I don't have no time to be sick. Right. I guess. I guess. So. 
what you does know, beep, I don't wanna... does beep ring in the what 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 appliance just beeped? Oh, probably uh, the coffee machine. Maybe I'm not sure. I didn't hear it because I have my uh, my I oh. have my my headphones in. So. Oh, the queen yeah. has it now. Yeah, I, we we hope everyone gets better. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best to, to fight. I'm doing my best to fight the 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 told you so gremlin. <laughs> so <laughs> you know. Um, you know, um, it's been tough. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm doing my best. Good. That, that's all we can do. That is absolutely all we can do. Well, I have a contractor right, right. that's here working today downstairs, and I need to get down there and get him onto the next project. But okay. I'm super psyched that you're making lasagna, and if you can please, no time to be down and out. No way. If you can take some photos when this lasagna is done and post them on my page or tag me at least. I would oh yeah, that. I'm going to do that. I post, like I did the uh, the, the pasta yeah. uh, a couple weeks ago and posted it on the 11 on 11 site. I'll go ahead and do that as well. Post my final pictures of, of this cool. beauty that's going to be made. And if it's okay with you, Leanne would like to come on next weekend and talk about what's happening. In, oh yeah, in, most definitely. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love when you're here and if you're gonna be on tomorrow night, we'll see you tomorrow night and we'll talk Good morning, who's ever there. Um it's almost Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Do gonna you have a take letter? my I'm gonna take Oh, uh L for lasagna. Okay, you're gonna take what? I said I'm gonna take my nap before the eleven eleven show tomorrow night. Take a nap. Please have a great day, everyone. Wish the taster, taster, good luck today, taster. Ah. All right, L is for the way you look when you're making lasagna, and I'll sing for you. Oh, there you go, AJ, AKA Alex, too. And I will say to all of you, stay safe, stay healthy, and be real nice. And I'm so glad we're hanging out today and tonight. Poetry glam is always, always way out of sight. So have a great day, and let's all go play. Well, Alex makes the beautiful lasagna and I'll slow it down right here. So I will say from your thoughts, make them light, light, light thoughts. And from your words, always have loving words, just like Alex from your heart. Oh, from your heart, always, always, always have a large heart. And that is where I'm gonna start today. Hey, hey, hey. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Alex. Love hard. Love, love real hard, baby. Real hard, baby. Say hello to everyone. <laughs> uh, well, take care. See you tomorrow night. Everybody, love you. Bye. Bye.